Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an MSI GF63 thin gaming laptop. I'm going to show you how you can manually BIOS reset in the event that you can't access BIOS during startup and select the factory reset option there. This video will show you how to manually reset BIOS. So first things guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over. Now right here, guys, this is gonna be the first way that we can try to BIOS reset. Right here on the right-hand side of your screen, right next to this screw. We're gonna zoom in on that a little bit. So right here, where there's that screw hole, directly to the right of that screw hole, you'll see this tiny little hole there. That's a manual BIOS reset hole. So what you do is you would take a tool, a thin tool, sometimes you'll use that reset you use for phones, but you'll get that down in there, maybe a small paper clip, and that's how you would try to reset BIOS. That should reset all of your BIOS settings. In most cases, guys, this will not reset your password. So this is not a way to reset BIOS password. This is just a way to reset your BIOS settings. If this doesn't work and it doesn't reset your BIOS settings, then we're going to have to manually reset BIOS by going into the computer and actually unplugging your CMOS battery for 10, 20 seconds. So in order to do that, we're going to have to remove your bottom case. Now I've marked off all the screws here that you need to remove for your bottom case. You get these four on the bottom, these three on the side, these three on the side, this one in the middle, and this one near the top middle near the left. So these are all the screws that you have to take out to get this bottom case off. After you've removed those screws, you're going to use a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool to go around the outside seam and gently pry off the bottom case from your computer. About these tools, guys, if you need any help getting tools or supplies to get into your computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, that'll show you all the various tools and supplies I use in my shop. It'll also include all the various replacement and upgrade components for this specific model MSI. Last thing to shout out about removing the bottom case, you're going to have your HDMI port up here. You have one in the back of your computer. That's going to make it a pain taking off this case because you've got to take it off around that HDMI port. So just be aware of that when you're removing the bottom case. After you get your bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Here's your main computer battery right here. Now, as a general rule, before I do anything in a computer, I at least unplug my main computer battery, if not remove it. So your battery is plugged in right here. And as you can see on your battery, there's a little groove right there in the middle. That's supposed to allow you to put a pry tool, put it right in that groove and slide this plug out of its port. However, in my experience, this computer is kind of a pain. And because there's so little room here, I wasn't able to really slide that out without removing the battery, which leads to our second major pain with this computer is that this battery is not screwed in, it's glued in. So you have two ways of getting this battery out. You can either just muscle it out little by little, be very careful you don't bend the battery too much and break it, um, or you can use a heat gun. Now a heat gun and a battery are very dangerous combinations. Make sure your battery is completely drained if you try this and make sure that the heat gun is kept several inches up and you don't hold it in one place for too long. Because as you know, heat and batteries, that's an explosion risk. So be very careful if you do attempt to do that. After using the heat gun a little bit, nice, keep it rotating back and forth. Again, don't stay over one place too long. You'll get that glue under there a little gooey, and then you can use a credit card type item and slide it underneath to get that battery up. So after I, unplug or remove the battery, it's safer to proceed to the CMOS battery to attempt a BIOS reset. Your CMOS battery is right here, guys. This is your solid state drive. It's right near there, right in this corner of your solid state drive. So this is your CMOS battery right here. And in order to do just a manual BIOS reset, you don't have to actually remove your CMOS battery. If you're here to replace it, then yeah, you'd pop that up. It's held on by double-sided tape, shouldn't be a problem. But if you're just here to BIOS reset, you're going to unplug it from this motherboard port right there. There's two little grips on either side of that plug. Use your fingernails or a pry tool and unplug it from there. 
leave it unplugged for 10, 20, maybe 30 seconds, plug it back in, that'll reset BIOS. So that's the video guys, how to manually reset BIOS with that pinhole or the CMOS battery. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. So thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.